right now, officers working eight homicides in the metro area. They all happened this weekend in the span of two days. Four of those homicides happening in KCK, three of them in KCMO, but one in Blue Springs. And police do have a person in custody for the Blue Springs murder, but they're still searching for suspects in the other crimes. The homicides are a tragic start to the 4th of July. This is officers and community members try and find answers. The Now's Ray Daniel talked with violence prevention organizers on how these events need to spur more than just a conversation on how to end the violence. I actually have to breathe like like a breath. Rosalind Temple has been with Casey Mothers in Charge since 2013, whose mission is to reduce violent crime in the area. I love my city. I'm going to fight so I can't fight anymore to the last breath of my body to save someone's child. She says this recent string of killings in her hometown is disheartening. It's sad in my spirit. It makes my spirit weak. Seeing the caution tape, police lights, knowing another person was killed. I'm not surprised. We have to break the cycle. The cycle is taking us out. It's killing our children, our loved ones. It's killing our city. Tragedy that hit close to home for Temple, whose son was killed in 2011. I know how it is to lose one of your heartbeats. And it was my son, Pee Wee. That was my heartbeat. One of my heartbeats is gone. So I just want to tell my community, we need you. Around this time last year, 15 one homicides in 2015 and 2014 combined. That number was 73 and this year the number is 72. 60 percent have been black men between the ages of 17 and 34. I need more of us that's representing different people that come up and stand together and say, hey, you're not Casey Mothers in charge, but this is what, who you are. This is what we could do. Not just listening, but taking action to help bring down the violence in Kansas City. If we know someone is in our home, children, our family members is committing these crimes, we got to speak up. We got to help them, give them some help. Temple says this is not just one person's problem, but a community problem. We need to come together, stand together, and believe in one thing. We don't have to like each other, but respect each other. One common ground to stop the virus. For the Now KC, I'm Marie Daniel. Yeah, for a detailed look at the alarming amount of homicides we've had this year, head to our website, KSHB.com. We do have a map showing when and where those homicides happened.